Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm doing a garage tour, because guess what? Um, I want to flex on all my friends, because they don't have as much cars as I do. So we're going to start off in the agency, and this video is going to take me an hour or something to record, because I've got so many garages. But, we're going to get through it together, probably going to be a pretty well long one, but um, yeah, let's do it. I'm really, I'm actually really excited, because I did this about a year ago, and I had way less cars. Like, I didn't even own this place, I had pretty much nothing in here. So, to start off, we are going to be talking about my Christmas special Ardent, which has got machine guns, so it's pretty cool. Um, I got this on Christmas for doing the um, LS car meet races, and I just have it sitting up here. I think it's really cool. It's got a very rare livery, which won't come out again, so pretty nice car. Um, by the way, those two, Buffalo TX and the uh, Enus thing, that's not mine. They're just there because it's agency. All right. Down here, I have an Enos Deity, but it's like a British one. This one's also weaponized. I have a champion. It's just visually looking pretty nice. I haven't done any of the upgrades to it. I really want to, but it costs so much that it's like, ugh. Uh, here's my Zorosso. I don't know if this was in the last one. Um, I'm pretty happy with this build. It's like midnight blue, so it looks black, but it's actually blue. And I've got the uh, tricolory, um stripe there. Here, I've got my gold Wagner, just to flex on all the kids who can't afford the $50,000 paint job. Uh, here's my Italia RSX. This thing's actually really quick. Um, ever since, like, the HSW cars came out, I haven't really driven it much. For because like, I only really drive it for sport races. But, yeah, I like it. And then, over here are my two newest cars, I'd probably say. This is this update, Battle Factor LM8 7. I really like this car. It costs, like, 3 mil, which is a bit stupid for this. But it's really nice to drive, it handles really nicely. And here's my Entity XXR. Right now, this has um, low grips on it because there's a speed glitch you can do with this car. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but yeah, you can also do that with a couple of other cars, and I'll show you those cars because I've got them all. Because, you know, speed glitches are fun. Um, I don't actually know what was here. Oh yeah, my T20. Um, let's just bring that back. It probably got blown up knowing me oh I might put it in another garage we'll see it later so, so I have a t20 here normally um here is my entity my my first entity I've got a couple here's the original one this one I built on story mode so I just ported it over and I'm actually really happy with it it's really simple but and here's my gold Osiris I have a lot of gold cars um, I love this Devastator, it's really clean, it's matte black, and then you got like the gold rims and the gold paint job, I just think it looks really good. Um, and then I have this FMJ, I haven't driven this for a long time, but I do like it, it's a very simple build. I built this around the same time I built most of the other cars in here, and I just went very simple with all of my builds. So here, I didn't go simple, I've got my Ignis, which is really cool, it's just a mental paint job, it's black underneath, pink rims, I just went mental on this and I really like it, looks crazy. Here's my Tyrus, I remember doing a video on this, and um, I really did enjoy this car. The white wheels look really good on it, and the red tyre smoke actually works really well with my crew colour. And here is my really weird Sprunk Tesseract, and I don't understand this car at all. Um, it's got like light up green wheels and all of that it's crazy so i'm actually going to go and drive the entity because i do want to show you the speed glitch so what you do is you go to the ls car meet um you need to go put low grip tires on it because you can do that on any car now and then you have to double clutch and you should get a speed glitch and it breaks the speed barrier i don't know if they've patched it yet because i haven't played this game for a while um, i haven't played for like a week so i want to try and do it here so double clutching is holding your brake, your accelerate, and your handbrake. And then you just tap the handbrake and the brake. And you should get into a drift. Like this, yeah, like speed glitch. And then it's, oh, they fixed it. I, I like to just drift it around a little bit to get it going. Oh, I patched it. Nope, they haven't patched it. Alright, so that's what you do. Try not to spin out. Right, that has the speed glitch. Um, go and have fun with it. It works on the Jester, Jester Classic as well. So, enjoy that. Um, we're going to go up here. We're going to see what's in here. Um, 
This is my old main apartment, so I probably hasn't got much in it because that's where I have all my supercars for. I am moving to the agency because it's bigger. So I can have them all on display. I don't actually have the office damage, so I do have some wiggle room for buying new cars, but I'm running out of storage, so that's gonna be an expensive building to buy. So but um yeah we're gonna, we're gonna check this place out. So I haven't been here for a very long time. And it's probably got like three cars in it. But we can see anyone. I won't show you me traveling between every garage because that's going to take hours. So, yeah, I've just got three cars in here. I don't know why I've got a random banshee. But I have two Christmas, two more Christmas cars here. So I've got this rare clique, which I also won from the Alice car meet. I, I guess I, I did all of the prize rides this year. And I've got this baller ST. And it's got this sand delivery saying, you've been naughty. I actually really like this car. I think it's weird, but it's, it's, it's a bit... Like, it's cool, but it's not. And I love pink just because it's a rice out Range Rover, isn't it? But yeah, we're gonna go over to my, like, first apartment. I mean, this might have some old stuff in it. I mean, because I lived there for a while, and then I moved around there. I moved to the arcade, I moved to the Arena War. So, this is like all of my car collecting 100 million plus dollars. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoy this game, and just doing a garage tour would be nice. So I get to drive around some cars I never drive. I never drive this. Like, let's be honest, I'm, I've driven this like uh, once since Christmas, and I always get new Christmas cars every year. So oh, there's no way in there. So I, I never really get to drive my Christmas builds again. I've got I got three Christmas builds this year, which is just a bit stupid, but. All right. Lovely, lovely parking right there. Yes, we have some old stuff in here. Wow, this is nostalgic. All right, I've got an Anis Elegy RH8. This is the non-version. I just wanted to make a GTR, didn't I? This is proper me. This is like big splitter, big spoiler, decent wheels, lovely. Oh, yes, I love this car. I actually still do call this one and then drive it around. Volker Warner. Yeah, it's like a little 2000 GT. The Batty, I, drive, I ride this all the time. It's like the best bike in the game. The Karen Rusty Rebel. So this car is a bit mental. Look at that back crate. I built it like an off-road buggy. I think it came out nice. And the Vaca. This is one of my first cars. And I bought this trying to grind for the entity. And wow, that I love this car. Here is my Dinka Blister I nicked off the street. I have my Night Shark over here. I got for free years ago. Uh, Matt Manchez Sanch. Matt C. Matt. Matt B. Mabitsu Sanchez, there we go, livery. Um, we have a Bravado Rumpel Weasel News van from the famous video, Weasel News Trolling. Uh, we have an Obey Omnis here. I've got some BMXs and stuff on the wall, you know. But yeah, here's this garage. I think I'm going to drive the GTR. Take this one for a little spin, and I'll see you at the next garage.
All right, so we're here. Um, this house is just down the road from Franklin's. I bought this because I wanted a balcony, and it didn't come with a balcony. So I'm probably going to sell this and get something a lot nicer. But, you know what? It's all right. And we have some cool cars in here. So this is my Duke of Death. I've got a couple of these now. Uh, this is the free one I got. I've got another one, uh, a really nice one. True Fade Z-Type. I actually did customise this car. It doesn't look like I have. But I did. It's all maxed out. I actually really enjoy driving it. Here's my Dukes. I need to chrome the front because I didn't unlock chrome when I built it. But I like it. It's really fun to do wheelies in. Dinka Blister Compact. I got this for free ages ago. And I just don't know why I'm doing with this. Karen Sultan Classic. I actually revisited this car recently. And like made it into this. So I had it all rice. I had it like crew red. Um, roof box. Sticker bomb everywhere. I really actually like this build, carbon roof, carbon spoiler, but then just the wheels and everything just works really nicely as a clean build. This Karen 190Z, I built this, I don't know why, it was kind of like a drift car slash race car. I don't really get why I was going for it, I, I didn't drive it at all really. Um, here's my Turismo Classic, my favourite car in the game. Um, I'm so happy with this car, and nothing to, bad to say about it. Here is my Jugular, you know, got that anime, just don't worry about it, you know. In Furnace Classic, I drive this a lot. Probably drive this more than the Turismo, and that's my favourite car. Because I just really enjoy driving this car, just in the mountains, you know, cruising around. It's just really chill car to drive. And here's my other entity, I won this off the wheels, got pearlescent paint. I haven't done anything to that, I haven't touched it. I'm going to drive the Subaru, the Sultan Classic. I think, I, I like this build. Oh, it's a lot. It sounds awesome. This car's got one of the best sounds in the game. Yeah, definitely. All right, see you at the next garage. Alright, we're here, so we're at this garage. I don't actually know what's in here, so let's just go and have a quick look. Um, so, I have four garages on this one street. Oh, here's my double Turismo garage. Uh, a lot of space in here, so I've got just a free Turismo. And I have bought, I got a free one again, but I wanted to customise it. And this one is really cool. It's got all the new Turismo customization parts. Old wing, because the new ones I don't really like. But I think this one looks awesome. Proper race car. Uh, you'll see a couple more Turismos, I'm a bit of a Turismo enthusiast in this game. Um, I really like this car, it looks really nice, nice to drive. So we're going to go into my arcade here and see what else I have. Because um, in here is kind of like my military vehicles, because you know it's an arcade, it's underground, covert, covert ops. So I picked this garage for all my military cars. Um, and here we are so first off we have a faggio sport because every man needs a faggio sport 
Second, we have the Matsubichi Sanchez. I said it right. So, Sanchez, um, this is pretty cool. I just have this lying around. I think it's pretty nice. Here is the Virus. This is like a Keo Perico vehicle. Here is the Manchez Scout. So, this one is like the old Inter Infinite Wheelie bike. So, that's really cool. Really fun to drive. Um, over here is my Vapid Winky. I really like it's like an old army jeep. Here is like a Dom Toretto inspired from Fast and Furious 6 like build. I think it's just cool. Here's my Albany Buccaneer. I, I, this car, I've done a little bit to it. It looks really stock because it is. I just drive this. This is more of a driving car as well. I like driving this in like a uh, mountain and stuff. Here is my army PR4, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is my F1 car, I really enjoyed racing in that. Here's my Rapid GT, this is one of my first cars as well. Um, this probably shouldn't be in here, but it is. Um, I, I spent a very long time getting this car. I spent like three hours in old GTA, doing the Vespucci job adversary uh, mode. And I, I, I got that car and I felt so good about it. Here is my Mesa. I never drive this anymore. It's same same story as the Vapid. Um, no, the Rapid GT, sorry. I just, old, old cars from when I first started playing the game, I only had 10 slots, so. Yeah, and I, I had those two, and I really like them, but I don't want to drive them. <laughs> so we're just going to run out, and we're going to go and grab the Turismo, because I actually wanted to drive this a little bit more. I got white rims on this as well, so I kind of went same style as the Tyrus. I really like the red and the white. Especially my crew red, it goes really nicely. And we're at the next garage, just down the road. Might buy that one over there. Oh, let's go, the race car garage. This is one of my favorite. It's a full theme garage. All the cars are race cars. So we have the Bravado Redwood Gauntlet, we have the Pistwasa Dominator, we have the Massacaro race car, I really like this build, super clean, the orange and the blue go really nicely. Uh, here's my Chebrek, absolute unit of a car, best car I've ever had. Uh, here's a Tropos Rally, I don't really drive to that. Here's the Yosemite, and I, I put like a 77 because you know Jeff Mustard 77, it all works out. This thing's really cool. I like drifting this around. It's not the drift one, but it does drift. Uh, here's a Sprunk Buffalo. Sprunk is my favourite. Here is Burger Shot Stallion. Pretty cool livery. It's like a Burger King. So Here's the Hot Ring Sabre. And you couldn't go with any other livery than this one. So don't question it. And here's the Declass Drift Tamper. Um, I've done like a double 360 in this accidentally. And it was really cool. So I'm actually just going to drive this down. Because the garage is like literally two metres away. But you know what? It's fine. This, the funny thing is, this thing's got drag radicals on it. If you look on the rear tire, it says drag radical and it's a drift car. So, I don't get that, but it's pretty cool. Really quick, this car. And um, drifts very well, as you can see. So here is my first garage I ever bought in Grand Theft Auto V. This garage is a six car, and it's not full with my original cars, because um, they're all pretty much gone now. But I do have a couple cars in here. Some stuff's been sold, some stuff's been like blown up, some stuff's been lost. This Futa I was going to build, never did. This rat loader is pretty cool. It's really fun to wheelie. I've got this when I did like army role plays a very long time ago. And I have this, it's a just driving car. Like I have a lot of driving cars now. Because in this game, I, I, I hate doing heists nowadays. I've done so many to the point it's just it's quite numb. I, I enjoy doing stunt races and just driving around in some cars. So that's what I do in this game nowadays. And um, not all my friends are very happy about that, but I am. So, But we're going to go. Keep on going. Almost over. Just kidding. No, it's not. We need to go over to my arena wall, so I'll see you there. I 
Okay, so we're not at the arena rule, we're at my auto shop, but it's closer, so and I accidentally marked this. We'll go with it, it's fine, it's fine. I do have some very nice cars in here. Um one of my favourite garages, definitely top three. Um, that's not mine, my cars aren't blown up half the time. So here is my tuning garage, I like to call it. It's not very tuning, but I, I, I literally coincidentally went blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange. And this car's blue and orange, and this car's just orange, and this car's blue. It's, and, that, and this one's blue and orange. It's just confusing. It's complete coincidence. But it happened, and it's in order of purchase. So first one I got was the Remus. I really like this build. It's like Tokyo Drift. This actually won a car meet once with Hella Flush, so this car's pretty special to me. Um, and it was a thumbnail of his video, so I'll show that right now. Here's a Comet S2. This car is just a really nice build. Track version, I call it. Um, very nice. My friend Harrison's got one of these. Here's the Anis ZR350. I would like to put the Dom Terrestrial Libre on this, but I can't afford it right now, and I haven't even unlocked it because I don't do much Ellis car meet stuff. Here's my Jester, Jester R. It's got the red Super livery instead of the green one. Same reason as the Dom Toretto livery, can't afford it. Um, here is my Takumi Fujiwara Drift Missile. Um, I love drifting this thing down the mountain, and it's really fun to drive. Here is Suki's S2K that has not been finished. Um, I, I literally have put the livery on it, and that's it. This is a Halloween special. Albany Frankenstrange, this car is really cool, but the flame movie, like a little hot rod, it's got a purple pearlescent on it. You know, it's a really nice car. It's a four-seater, so you can have fun with your friends. Here is the best car I have. Um, it is the, um, the, suit, the Prius, and I've changed it from, it used to be pink. Now it is a rainbow, prismatic, boy, money wheels, buy my cars symbol, that like everything is just so drip on this car. That you should just not touch me, alright? Mafia will come with you. Uh, here is my Car Calico GTF. I really like this car. Um, this build. It was so good that my friend Ollie copied it. Which is saying something, considering he doesn't really like my builds. So yeah, I went proper full rally on this. And I think it came out awesome. And finally, um, here is my Supra. I've got a light blue pearlescent on this. And I think it's a mean car. It's got... Purple, um, neon, no, blue neon. Very clean build. And this is also a speed glitch car. So, this one I'm a bit better at doing it with than the other one, than the entity. So, I'm gonna do a little test here. I've hit, I've beaten so many drag races in this car since the update came out. Look, it's so much easier to do than the entity. It only works with low RPM cars, and there's a list online, so go search it up. Uh, Bruffy did a video on it. Yeah, it's pretty hard to drive normally, but for speed, it's very quick, because it breaks the, li the limits. Uh, the LS tuners actually also had this problem when they first came out, but they fixed it, and then they haven't fixed this. So I don't know what they're doing. But here we are, Arena War, haven't been here for a very long time. I never call cars out of here. The only thing I call out is a scramjet. That's probably it. But, I do like this, this place. I haven't actually customised it, I just left it stocked because I was broke when I bought it. And I probably, st I am still broke. Oh wow, this is a very old garage. Alright. So here is my Duke of Death. This one I customised, all maxed out, bulletproofs, purple. You can see there's a NOS bottle in there. You know, it's a really cool car. Bought it when it actually cost money. <laughs> here is the uh, Prenumbra FF. This is Brian's Eclipse, quite obviously. This is kind of like a Fast and Furious and themed garage, if you see where I'm coming. Here is my Dinka Jester Classic. This one is like my super my Fast and Furious one. Harrison's also got one of these. I think everyone does. Let's be honest, if you don't, what are you doing? Um, here is the Matsubu Prenumbra, the original one. Um, also an Eclipse, but I prefer the new one. I prefer this one. 
Um, here's Dod Dom's charger. Again, I have like four of these. You've seen one already. You know, I've got a lot of duplicates now. Because I forget what I buy. And then here's my Vapid Elite. It's kind of like a race, race car build. Really cool. I might turn this into a um, Eleanor build from Gone 60 Seconds. Here is the Sultan R. Uh, Sultan, just the Sultan. Even though it says Sultan RS, it's not. Here is um, the old Dom's RX-7 we used to do with the Banshee 900R. I really like this build. Very, very wide, but cool. Here's my BF Club, a little Golf. I don't drive this anymore. I used to drive it all the time. I do like it. It's pretty cool. So, it's time to go down to the next level of the multi-story car complex. Um, I do need to move a couple cars. So, excuse me if they are a bit random. But they are. Oh, yes. Here's my old Supers garage. Um, here's my adder. There's not much you can do to the adder. So, but you know what? It's fine. It's cool. Scramjet, use that a lot. Because the lock-ons are good. Here's the drip van. Don't ever diss the drip van. Drip van's a drip van. Here's my Futo. I do like this. I used to drift in this until the new one came out. But I do like that car. My original Turismo. Um, this is my favourite car. I have. Um, this and the Turismo Classic are tied. I've got black light. I've got black light neons only on the sides. You know, this car's left exactly as I had it. Purple wheels. Really proud of that car. Well, not a lot of races in it. Here's a little, like, the Doom Buggy. I used to call this Bane's Doom Buggy because of a Waffle Galaxy video. But... And this is a, um, Pegasi Tempest. This is actually a really new addition to my garage. I never drive it. Literally, never, never, never. And I have this from when I did a video with the Weenie Issy Classic. Um, but I don't know. It's a bit crap. Alright, we're downstairs. We have the new... This is actually a pink gang garage. So, here is the Turismo in pink. My Turismo build in pink. Pink, uh, Grotti Barisio. Pink gang, Grotti Barisio. Pink gang Prius. Same build, same build. We have the pink gang, um, go-kart. Go the pink gang sentinel. I actually changed this when the Bennies comes out, but... Pink gang Principe Nemesis and the pink gang leader car. The weenie nightmare, is he? Otherwise known as Lil Beastie. Um, yeah, this is this garage. But we're going to be driving this. I actually really like this car, even in pink. It looks good in pink. You can see pink headlights, you know, properly full pink bomb. Um, I'm going to go to this garage. I don't actually have a night um, club garage. I have like one car in there. You can check that out. And then we can go to my hangar. Like A, hey, I might have a garage up here, but it has actually got nothing in it. So we're not going to go there. Please don't make me go there. Because I hate it. And this gives me a chance to look for my T20. Which I still don't know where it is. I'm scared. That I've lost it. Because that thing costs a lot of money. I might have to put a claim in for it. On Rockstar's website. Oh, shortcut right there. Oh look at his driving skills. Garage is a bit random, um, so don't expect anything good. I do have a terabyte, yes. I've got a, a white van, a white van in here. Drug van. That was fun.
Yes, I bought a garage next to my nightclub. Yes, I do like this garage already. What's this? Is this another bucket? I've got... Oh, yeah, this is my M&M car. So, as you can see, I'm dressed up as m, &M. This is my m, &M car. It's cool. All right, it's from 8 Mile. Here's the Karen Sultan again. It's like an army one. Army build. GTR. I had this as um the two, the Pizza Boy one. I might change it back because it doesn't really look good as Brian's R34. But here is a old Takami's build. Here's the S95 in gold with this mental livery. Rapid this car is. Sentinel XS in like a midnight blue. I don't know. It's just a clean build. It really is. Uh, the BF Raptor, absolute beast of a car. Actually, in the wrong garage, should be in the pink gang garage. But this is um, random. It's free, so it's random and it's free, and I'll take it. Enos Windsor. This is like a camo car. I think I think it's pretty cool. Here is the Volga Ignot, and this is in good. This is actually my favorite car, uh, which is a sedan because it's just really cool. It's like a soccer mom kind of thing. I oh, I think it's cool. Um, I'll drive the Raptor. I haven't drove this for a very long time. Yeah, this is like a... This is based on the... I forgot the name of it. It's got the bike sound as well. What's cool is that the, the chain actually spins. Just, yeah, the attention to detail on this car is really cool. But I don't know if you can classify it as a car. I mean, it's in the car class, but it's not a car, is it? It's a bike. That was a lovely 360. Lovely. We open up the Bombay doors. And we walk inside. Here is my hangar. I don't have much in it. I might move my buzzard in here, but I haven't done that yet for some reason. I have my Hydra, I use this probably the most out of every vehicle I own because it's so fast. I've got my gold plane thing, it's pretty cool, and my bombing Cuban. I'm actually going to fly this, um, I fly the Hydra so much that I never fly this anymore. It's proper jet. This is actually a really quick jet, so if anyone wants to do missions, we do recommend one of these. Um, I think it would be Ezra. Very cheap, about 600k. Would recommend. Very maneuverable, these guys. Yeah. So that's the end of the garage tour. I'd like you all to subscribe right now. And I'll see you back with another video whilst I go and claim for my T20 being out of my world. Bye.